this video, I spent about $25 to get all of these items. The amount for everything that's sold is $518. Hi everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going to be talking about things that have sold in the last week or so on eBay and Etsy. This is the day after Christmas, so we'll see what all sold leading up to today. Let me flip over and there we go. We can take a peek. So we'll get started with the items that sold on eBay. This first item is a swan and I think I got this in a jewelry jar. I've had it for a really long time but it finally sold for ten dollars. It, it was missing a stone and I was gonna put it into a lot. It's missing a couple I think. Um, but I was convinced by somebody else that it would probably still sell and I should have gone with my gut because it was really, it, it's been up for a really, really long time. All right, next item that sold, oh, this is in a, a bunch of things that I got to combine shipping on. One person was buying a few different items. And so this IBM hat ended up selling for, where did it go, $20. Sometimes the price will be a little bit different um, than what you see if I took a best offer. And this is something that I paid a dollar for at an estate sale, I think. <clears throat> the next thing, this was another item that went out with that same lot, and these tapes um, I took an offer of $13 on. And um, these were probably about a dollar, it was a dollar on my inventory note, so chances are it was around that that I picked it up. Then, oh, um, there were about six things that went out together. So this is a duck tie tech, and this is something else I've had for a really long time, long enough that I haven't got an inventory note on it, but it ended up selling for $24. And these tapes were also in that lot. These tapes went out for, where did they go on here? Hmm. Did I not write them down? Ah, $12. There we go. $12 on those ones. And then one more last item that went out in that lot. Um, this pin went out for $12. And this is another item that I've had for a really long time. I haven't gotten an inventory note on it, so, so there's that. All right. Next thing that went out, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit over here for you guys. I started finally getting some of my lots put together of jewelry, and so this was a pearl and faux pearl lot that went out, and this sold for $19. And on my inventory note, it was just kind of like a mix because, uh, again, it's just different things that have come in different lots that I would throw into to a bin. Okay, the next thing is this sterling silver etched bangle bracelet, and it sold for $18. And this one, what did I say? I picked it up for a dollar. So that's a nice piece. Then these earrings I've had for a really long time. They're kind of an Art Deco style, but they're clip-ons. Um, and I've actually just sold a number, not a number, but a couple pairs of clip-ons lately, which is good. Even though these, uh, <clears throat> pardon, these sold for $10. So let's scroll down and see that I have an inventory note. I don't think so. No. Okay. So moving on, next item that sold, oh, Lando, y'all, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I get my shipping done late at night so I can schedule it for the next morning. And I sent out the wrong Lando. I had two Landos. And in my mind, I just said to myself, go get Lando from the tub and I had more than one Lando. Go figure. But the buyer was really nice and said, you know what, I'll just, I'm going to keep the one I've got. You can just put that one back up and it, they were the same price. So Lando went out for about $10. <laughs> I got to be careful. I'm having some mistakes lately. All right, this Alex and Annie bracelet sold and this one had a little bit of um, condition issues. This one sold for $8.00. Um, and I kind of, I probably wouldn't do it over. I probably wouldn't list it again um, because it's missing some stones and stuff. But, it, you know, it's sold, so we'll see how it goes. I'm wondering, this is one of those things where I like, I hope they read the description because I've said that it's missing stones. But you never know, right? I had somebody return something else. I 
put in the description that it was missing a hook on the back and it, was, it still got bought and sent back because of it. So, okay, this collar pin sold for, for $9. Um, yeah, I, and it's, oh, this is, um, a buck 50 I spent on that. So, and it sold for $9. <sighs> is that right? Because I had it up for $17.99. That's, I guess I gotta trust myself. I've had it up for a while, so I'm not upset that I took a good offer on it or best offer. All right, so these fit flops sold. These I got at the bins. I think this is for my first trip to the bins. And these fit flops sold for $28. They were in really good condition. Yep. Yeah. They were bought at the bins. And I don't sell a lot of shoes. But I bought these ones. I, yeah, I just don't buy a whole lot of shoes. All right, and then my Ghostbuster bank sold. And it sold within hours of me listing it. What does that tell me? Maybe I didn't list it for enough. Um, and I was going to get a stopper for the bottom. But then decided, oh, let me just see if anybody wants it. I'll just not price it as high as maybe I would have. But it still sold for $20. That's a good good sale and let's see what I paid five bucks for it so it's a good ten eleven dollar profit on that cool cool all right and then this is a better homes and gardens cookbook that I got at the bins as well and I it was about 20 cents because books at the outlet are five for a dollar so Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook, and it was like 1972, I think, was the version on this one. Yeah, and this book sold for $45. There's money in cookbooks. You just got to find the right ones. All right, so that was a good sale. Next up, these I also, did I get these in the bins? I feel like I did. The, um, oh wait, I'm on Etsy now. So Etsy, let me come over here and do my drop down. So I can tell you. Yep, I got these at the bins. Um, and they're because they are ceramic, they're counted as a breakable. So 20 items for buck ninety-nine. And these sold for eleven dollars. They sold pretty quickly too. Um, and they had some condition issues. I made sure to really get pictures and describe the, you know, there was some discoloration and things on them, but no, they bought them anyway. All right, and these sold as well. They're little place card holders and they're really heavy I think they were Pottery Barn is that right what were they of course the title is missing Crate and Barrel that's what they were Crate and Barrel inventory note I paid a dollar for these so and these sold for $13 and next up this little Mickey Mouse bank sold this is another one that I wish I pressed a little bit higher it sold fast and um, I couldn't find another one like it. It was, but it did again. It had some condition issues, but I think I've just got to watch that because, like with the Ghostbusters bank, I couldn't. I think I found one or two others, um, and then this I couldn't find another one like it. But there were, you know, it had some flaws. The little hook part wouldn't stay up, and there were some scuffs around the edges. But what did I get this for? I think I got it at a garage sale. No, I, I paid three dollars for it. I must have got it at a thrift store. Um, and it sold for twenty nine dollars. So that was a really good sale. Twenty nine dollars. Yeah. Should have priced it higher. Okay, this is another book that I got in the bins. I got it because I love that Art Nouveau cover, and I priced it a little bit high as well because there were other ones I think that had kind of a pinkish red color. And I remember talking to y'all about this when I listed it, that some people might just like it for the, the cover. So again, oh, you can't see it. Um, 1DB over here on my inventory note means I bought it at the bins. But um, so the books at the bins are five for a dollar. So it was about 20 cents. And it sold for $45. $45, you guys. All right, hold on to your... Hold on to your book sales because here comes another one. And y'all, I, I almost want to make a whole different video for this because I have been um, corresponding back and forth with the fellow that bought this book and he did all of this research about the the army, let's see, the army guy, the army guy, the army guy that this belonged to. And so inside, you know, gave all of the information about the Marine, I think he was. Yeah, and the Marines, um, 
Oh gosh, I can't read this so tiny. Um, but he did all this research and he found out the guy's history. He, he even found a picture of the guy's tombstone. It was really cool. So I may come back and talk about it a little bit more and just how sometimes there's more to reselling than just the numbers. You know, there's some history there that we get to be be party to and to pass along because I, I just thought it was so cool that this um, this guy really took the time out to research this this person. Okay, so I paid a dollar for this, and I can't remember exactly where. I I, I think I got it at an estate sale <clears throat> or a garage sale, book sale. I can't remember, but um, he paid $88 for it, and he was really happy to get it, and he was really pleased to be giving it a good home. And, um, yeah, I'll have to share with you guys the the correspondence that we had and some of the pictures and information he sent to me. So this was from 1918, so it's definitely over 100 years old, so that's really cool. But $88 for that, that was a good sale. All right, and then my popcorn, my popcorn jack-o'-lantern sold right around Christmas, so go figure. And I got this for, it was at the bins, so it was pretty light, so probably about a dollar or so and he sold for where did it go $25 $25 and I almost didn't get it because I'm like I know people love this style of vintage like that popcorn decorations it's not my thing and I'm just like oh I don't know and it, you know he, he sold for fairly quickly I thought after Halloween it was probably gonna be a little while before he sold but he sold okay and then another Star Wars guy sold, Trooper, he sold for $13. And I sold this copper cuff bracelet that I think I got in a lot. But it sold, let's see, no, I don't even have an inventory note on there. Um, it sold for $18. I've had it up for a little while. And then finally, this is going out today, this strawberry mug sold for $18, also on Etsy. And I paid a dollar for that. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys on the next one. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Bye.